going to draw it, but we're finding the area of a sector. So here I have a circle with a little pizza slice. This is going to be the sector. Uh, the degrees for this is going to be 45 degrees. And there's going to be a radius of 9 for this circle. Radius of 9. So this is the sector. We're finding the area of this. And it's actually really simple on how to find the area. First, um, the area of the sector, I am recording, is that what you're talking about? Yes. The area of this sector is going to be smaller than the area of the whole entire circle, right? It, it will be. Um, and we can calculate the area of the entire circle by using pi r squared. And in this case, r is 9. So the area will equal pi times 9 squared, which is pi times 81 or 81 pi. But that's for the entire circle. We don't want the entire circle. Because we're trying to find the area of the sector, which is smaller than the entire circle. Uh, is this sector bigger than, equal to, or smaller than half the circle? It's definitely smaller than half the circle. Half would have been the whole top part. Uh, bigger than, smaller, or equal to a quarter of the circle. It's definitely smaller than a quarter. It's smaller than 0.25 of the circle. But we don't know exactly how much smaller. I mean, actually, you can kind of figure that out. It's another, yeah, it's another half. So what is it? It's 0.125, I'm thinking. No? Uh, actually, I don't know. Let's see. The way you can figure out that is take the degrees for the sector. Yeah? And divide it by, it's like we're trying to see how much of the circle this sector is. So we have to see, well, how many degrees out of how many degrees are possible? How many, so yeah, divide by 360. So this is for the sector, this is for the circle. That number, if you divide in the calculator, uh, 45 divided by 360 gives you 1.25. So, instead of, sorry, not 1.25, point 0.125. Instead of having the entire area, 81 pi, what we're going to do is take 0 0.125, part of the circle, and multiply it by all of the area. So it's 0.125 of this 81 pi. <coughs> And I'll give you a formula um, that you can look at and reference. But you're just multiplying this. And again, I'm going to leave the pi there. In this case, we'll have decimals, but it's still a little bit cleaner. So I'll do 0.125 times 81. And that's going to be 10.125 times pi. Units squared, whatever those units may be. If I really wanted to figure out the number for the area of the whole thing, I could do 81 times pi. That whole thing would be 0.125 times 81. Try again. No, just 81, because I'm leaving the pi on here. Oh. If you want to figure that out, you can, but I'm just going to leave the pi so that it's a little bit cleaner. Because if we did 10.125 times pi, then we end up with 31 for the sector. 
uh, the formula was part of total circle. Area times the area of total circle. And that will equal the area of the sector. This works for radians as well. Whoa, sorry. This all works for radians as well. And that's what we're going to do next, and then we'll be done. Uh, and then I can give you the assignment. If I have 360 degrees to represent the entire circle, what would it be in radians? Do you remember? To represent the entire circle? We wrote it at the beginning. Like two, two, pi two pi, yeah. So this, when we use radians, this will be two pi radians. Okay, for the last example, we're going to have the same instructions, but it's going to be with radians. So, same is instructions, uh, find the area of the sector, but we're going to have... Oh, look at this, look at this. Ooh, that's 3 pi over 2 radians. Uh, so, we're finding the, this area. Uh, we actually, I didn't write that yet, but the length of this radius will be 10. In some of your homework problems, they will already give you the total area, so you won't have to calculate it, but we're going to calculate it in this. Actually, what is the total area in this? What is the total area of this circle? No, that's the total degrees. 314.159. Uh, in terms of pi, do you know what I mean by that? 100 pi, that, that's the way that makes it cleaner. We're just going to leave it in terms of pi. Just about 314. Yes, because it's pi times 100. So that says 3 pi over 2? Correct, 3 pi over 2. So then to get this part, part of the circle, we're going to do the sector, which was 3 pi over 2. Do that right. 3 pi over 2 divided by the entire circle, which would be 2 pi. And the nice thing here is that the pi's will always cancel out. So we can just do 3 divided by 2 equals, and then, so that was the top part, and then divide by 2 again. Divide by 2, and we get 0.75. So 0.75 of this entire area is what we're looking for, and that's what we have. 0.75 is 3 quarters. 1, 2, 3 out of the 4 quarters. So 0.75 times the total area, right? 0.75 times the total area, that would be 100 pi. And that gives me the area of the sector. What's 3 quarters of 100, Auden? 75. Yeah, it's 75. We're just multiplying, uh, moving the decimal over. 75, and then we'll tack on that pi there. So it's that same formula except for you're just using radians.